Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video, we're going to be looking at the keyboard check shortcuts that you have with Blender. Um, in Blender, as you may already know, has tons and tons of keyboard shortcuts. Just for a little bit of an example, let's look. Um, let's go to File. We go to User Preferences. And then if you go to the Input tab, you'll see all these here. And just looking at the uh, 3D view, we come down here and we go to like the mesh. I mean, you see all these different settings and it just it goes on and on. And if we just uh, burrow down here and go into mesh, you'll see some of the common things you use when you're working with 3D. And just tons and tons and tons of keyboard shortcuts. And amazingly, you can actually change all these and take them out of the program and you can just rearrange this thing completely if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but they actually give you that option. So what does this mean with all these keyboard shortcuts in Blender if you're just starting out learning Blender? Should you run screaming away going, oh my god, I can't learn this program, it's too complicated? No. Uh, you don't have to worry about it that much, and I'll tell you why. Because the keyboard shortcuts that you actually use in Blender there's like a core set of shortcuts that you can use and you stick with those as you're learning and as you do different things you'll start adding more and more as time goes by and you won't even use them until you really get to that level where you need them so you don't even have to worry about them so it's just that core um, few keyboard shortcuts that really will help you in the beginning and just to give you an example by the way you don't even have to use those if you're uh, you just completely dislike the idea of using the keyboard shortcuts. Just about anything that you can do with the keyboard shortcuts, you can go down, down to the menu and do them. And what's really nice is as you do these, you can see that it shows you what the keyboard shortcut is there. So as you're learning things, you can kind of you know make a mental note of what the different shortcuts are. But just to show you a few that you might use, um, I'm going to go into edit mode and we see the faces here. I'm just going to select this. I'm going to hit delete and I'm just going to say delete face. So I've deleted that face. So say I went into edge mode and I selected this edge and this edge and I wanted to add a face. I would just hit F and that's a keyboard shortcut. So that's F. Uh, another common one is control R which is edge split and that just gives you a way to add edges to your object. Um, another very important one that you would use is if you select a face, E to extrude and then S to scale down and then I'm going to go into top mode, 7 is top on your keyboard, um, sorry, on your numpad. Three would be right, and one would be front. And by the way, if you do control seven, that's the bottom. Control one is the back. Control three would be the other side, the left side. So I'm gonna go back to the top here, and those are just some of the views from the uh, numpad. So I have this face selected, so I'm going to do a R to rotate. Of course, this is not normally something you would rotate, but that's how you rotate. Um, say I go into vertex mode, and you got these vertices here, and say I only want to select, I'm going to 7, and I just want to select a, these four here. I could use B to go into box mode and draw a box around those and just select those vertices. Say if you had something selected, uh, G is move. Um, and then if you do like a GX, you're moving along the X axis only, GY along the Y axis only, that, that sort of thing. Um, same thing with scale. If you do S, Y, you're only scaling along the Y axis. So these are a lot of the common keyboard shortcuts, you know, very basic ones that you'll use all the time 
when you're working with your modeling. And you'll find that, uh, you know, I don't know what the count would be, but I don't know. Just It's really just a handful that you use all the time. And once you learn those, I mean, you'll actually be doing them on the keyboard without even looking down, without even knowing which ones you're selecting, you know, once you get enough practice in. So my, my advice is don't worry about the keyboard shortcuts. It's not a big deal. Um, it is when you first start in. I mean, you, it, it is kind of frustrating to you know, think, well, what was that key that I used that did exactly what I needed to do? But I know from experience that that fairly quickly goes away and you start really realizing how to do that as, you know, a second nature uh, type of thing. So don't worry about the uh, keyboard shortcuts. And like I say, as you move on and you're learning a blender, you will pick those extra ones up that you can do the more advanced things uh, as you go and you keep just adding to your you know toolbox of keyboard shortcuts that you use so that has been a very brief uh, look at the keyboard shortcuts in blender hope you enjoyed it please subscribe comment below and i'll talk to you next time